thank you for the Lord and the leaders here of this congregation for giving me an opportunity to stand before you and proclaim the unsearchable riches of Christ. Amen. And if you look for anything fancy or all that kind of stuff, forget it. I don't know. You might get it. I haven't made my mind up yet. All depends on how the flow goes, right? You just get into it and see what happens. But what I want to do, I want to help us understand why we became Christians. And we know that we got baptized for the remission of our sins. And all of our past sins were washed away. But what do you do after all of your sins are washed away? Now it is time to show your gratitude. Oh, that's a new word. Gratitude. See, when somebody gives you a gift, a free pass, and, and you know the message, Jesus shed his blood so that we yes, could be passed free. Yes. So then what do you want to do to show that? How can you dare be disobedient to someone who was obedient to the cross? You can't and be showing love and gratitude. See, when I love my parents, I obey my parents. Mm, come on. Well. When I don't obey, Preacher. I don't show love. Preacher. And there is no gratitude. Yes. Mm. So we're going to go back to basics and we're going to show Jesus how much we love him this morning. Because the weather's breaking, uh, it's spring all across the country. Spring usually starts right there in, in, in Central America first. I drive out Oklahoma and Tennessee. That's why you see all those hurricanes and tornadoes coming through there. Because spring has sprung. <laughs> and, and, and it'll be time for us to spring up out of here. Okay. Huh? Amen. 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 We can worship in here. Preacher. We can learn in here. Preacher. But we got to evangelize out there. Amen. 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 Right. So get ready. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Amen. Because there are people that are out there that are sick and tired of being sick and tired. But, now, one person can't do it all. I've got to do my part. you got to do your part. you got to do your part. you got to do your part. But by the time we take a person around the whole circle, it has got to fit. Amen. There shouldn't be any right the edges. Amen. Now, if you're saying one thing, I'm saying something else, and you don't know what we're saying. Amen. <laughs> Amen. We might have a problem Amen. in the church. Because so people are going to be sitting there, well, I thought, I thought, I thought. All right, well, if I were to get in trouble and have to stand before a, a judge Monday morning, then I've got to take me a lawyer that knows the book. That's it. Amen. Not a comic book. No. Not his book, but he's got to know the same book that the judge knows. Amen. The same book that the prosecutor knows. Amen. So that when we get in there for my defense, everybody is what? Talking from the book. same book. Amen. 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 And when we go out with the gospel, I don't care if you have New King James or Old King James or Little King James or, or, or whatever. Right. It, it should still basically Amen. say that Jesus is Lord. Amen. That Jesus shed his blood. That Jesus died on the cross for you and for me. Amen. Because Amen. see, when I look at Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, the synoptic gospels, they say the same thing, but they don't always use the same words in the same sequence. Amen. 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 Okay? Amen. The message. Love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy mind. And another one said, and with all thy strength. Amen. The first one didn't say, with all my strength. Yeah. But does that change it? Preacher. Yeah. No. Amen. We're just another word amplifying the person's love and understanding of the scripture. So what we have to do is we have to get to the point where we're going to all bring Preacher. the book. Preacher. In the Old Testament, there was the same problem, and they had to go get the book. And the book was the Bible. Why? Because the Bible is That's it. right. That's it. Amen. Amen. Your opinion is not right. 
<laughs> now, let me say this, because I don't want to scare anybody off and say, well, I'm not that smart. I can't learn like you, Brother Davis. You know, I can't do this. I can't do that. You don't have to quote verbatim. Thank you, Lord. Amen. See, I, 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 I can't remember every scripture in the Bible the way it is with the these, the dials, and, and, and whatever else they got in there. Colons and semicolons. I can't do it. Amen. But I know one thing. I can get the principle right. I can get the thy shall not steal. Right. Now, I don't care how you write that, how you say that. See, that's a principle. If I take something that belongs to you without your permission, I am stealing. Amen. Amen. So just because one Bible might say, God shall not take what belongs to that neighbor, then you're going to sit there and argue. It didn't say don't steal. <laughs> no, we have to get real with this. We have to get real. Well, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, but it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith as it is written in the book. All right. Bible translated book. Book translated Bible. I'll take either one. See, that's what I'm talking about. I'll take either one. Bible or book. Bring me the Bible. Bring me the book. Now don't bring me a comic book. Bring me God's book. Bring me the book. All scripture is given by the inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You know, if I had the daunting task or rebuilding the ravens. <laughs> the first thing I would do is go there with a football and tell them, this is a football. Amen. You can't get any more basic than that. Not unless you have to put A, B, C, D, E, F, G. That's what you start off with your basics. And you put the A and the T together and get at. A and N together get N, and put a D on and get N. You, you take the basics. Come on, church. You take the basics. You take the basics, and you build on it. Don't let me give you supercalifragilisticexpialidosis and tell you to go teach that to somebody. Let me give you what you can handle. Now, the easiest thing to remember is whatever convinced you to repent, mm -hmm. come forward, and be baptized. That's the story that you tell for the rest of your life. Amen. Amen. Don't worry about what brought me in. Amen. Don't worry about what brought the next person in. Amen. See, because now you're trying to learn how to feel how I feel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're going to tell your story. Mm -hmm. And you're going to relate to people who relate to you. Amen. I've taught many a person and taught the scripture and knocked it right down it. And that was a strike right down. Heard no missing. Yeah, okay, I'll get back to you. <laughs> they didn't relate to me. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Did that stop me? No. no. You just keep right on going. Keep right on going. Because right. Jesus' his whole cry was, I come to seek and to save the laws. Your mission is you go out in the street, you're just talking to people to seek to seek, seek to find the laws, the one that relates to you. And as you do that, you will find that you will take the word with you. It's profitable for doctrine and for reproof. It corrects you also. Amen. Amen. I can tell you the people who are struggling spiritually are the people who are not sharing the gospel. Amen. 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 Everybody who gets strong in the gospel is sharing the gospel. Amen. They're either in the building teaching or they're out the building teaching or they're talking about it on the job or wherever because that's what makes you spiritually strong. Because you're going to run up against somebody who gives you a question <laughs> that you cannot answer. Then the weak is going to go and run and hide. But the person who 
has gratitude for what Christ has done for him is going to realize that that question came up because the Holy Spirit wants you to go home and study. Amen. Yeah. Every question you can't answer is what you're supposed to go Preach. and study. Amen. Don't study what I study. Don't worry about the Greek. Don't worry about the Hebrew. Teachers preaching. Don't try to get out there with big a dollar fifty cent words. All right. <laughs> Thinking you're going to impress somebody. Get out there with a pure heart and tell them what Jesus has done for you. Amen. 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 So I'm going to tell you something. You, you hear preachers get up here and, and visitors come in and all oh, they lay out the stories. Oh, wow, 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 wow. But I tell you what, if you stop to think, their story does not match yours. Amen. Their story does not match yours. You don't have to stand in a pulpit. You don't have to get a bullhorn. Mm -hmm. But you go find somebody in Subway Amen, or in the preacher. supermarket. Amen, preacher. Somebody just has a sad countenance. Mm -hmm. And just start talking to them. And watch them talk back to you. And you tell them about Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. My Savior. Mm -hmm. What he's done for me. Amen. He's brought me from a mighty long way. It is good for correction. Amen. <clears throat> Bring me the book for instruction in righteousness that the man of God might be perfect and thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly. See, you don't have to be ashamed. Come on, freak. Study to show thyself a truth. Amen. You don't have to be ashamed. You don't have to be. A shame when you can't answer a question. Give me a question I can't answer. That gives me a reason to get back to you. Amen. The worst thing that I've ever done in sharing the gospel is tell people everything they want to hear. You tell a person everything they want to hear, you answer all of their questions, ask all of their questions, they will make a decision right then and there before you leave. And if they don't leave with you or come Sunday, they make the decision, they don't want it. So you don't get a second shot. How many remember those cliffhangers high on Saturday morning? The movie would go all the way up to the end and the guy would be in danger. Get you cut off. <laughs> huh? That's what they call a cliffhanger. They be in your high end. Jesus didn't answer everybody's question thoroughly. He would answer some people and walk away and see if they follow him. Amen. Uh, come on now. Amen. And this is what we need to do. Don't be afraid of the gospel. Even Moses had to read from the book. Ezra didn't go off the top of his mind. Just expounding and expounding and expounding. Because see, after you talk so much and say it so many times, you gotta go back and make sure you're still saying what you're supposed Amen. to be saying. Amen. How many carpenters we have in here? Measure twice. Thank you. And, and if you get over there and you hesitate, I found that you're going to go back and bed you again. You're going to go in the country. You're going to find out there's something between there and here. When hey, what? you got to bring me the book. Amen. Amen. And you got to carry the book with you. Preacher. How can you be ashamed of Christ and the word of Christ and want him to honor you and recognize you on the day of judgment? And they speak of Ezra, the scribe. And he's the top man. He, he writes it. To bring the book of the law of Moses, which the Lord has commanded to Israel. Our book is the Bible. Amen. We should never be seen without our book. Right. Jesus taught from the book. Amen. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Who? Amen. If you think I'm kidding, Go get Luke 4 17. You don't have to there. If there was a, <laughs> a deliverer unto him of the book of the prophet, he says. Who are you that 
but your mind is so great that you don't need the Bible. 